Have you ever wondered how to take all of your video content that you've already recorded, turn it into text so you can repurpose it maybe on your blog or social media? Well, I've got a solution for that, so let's get started. So back when I first started all of my content creation, I wanted to figure out a way to take my videos, all my talking head videos, and be able to extract the audio as text so I can use on my website because I have a blog that's associated with my YouTube channel. Well, there's a couple things I tried early on, but they weren't as seamless as I wanted. But here with this new generation of AI with ChatGPT and Gemini, I have found a super easy solution that works perfect. I've actually been using Gemini a lot more than ChatGPT because when Google finally put it out to the public, they actually made one of their Google One subscriptions to be incorporated with the advanced version of Gemini. So I already subscribe to the two terabyte Google One plan because I have a lot of data that I wanna keep backed up. And so that two terabyte plan automatically gave me the advanced version of Gemini. So I switched from ChatGPT to Gemini and it's been fantastic. So this is gonna be kind of a little short video just to give you a little quick tutorial on how to do this. So let's switch over to the computer real quick and let's get into it. Okay, so this is actually one of my videos that I uploaded to my gaming channel. It doesn't have any talking head content on this channel. It's strictly just for my game streaming. YouTube automatically turns the verbal content into closed caption text. So this is what I'm gonna use for this example because my Gemini advanced account is actually tied to this email address. So it just makes it easier to show you. So I'm already loaded into one of my videos. This is um, a Battlefield game that I streamed the other night. And YouTube does a pretty quick job of turning the audio into transcribed closed captioning. And it does a pretty good job. Um, every now and then I have to fix spellings and some grammatical errors, but for the most part, it does a, a really good job. So here's what I've discovered is the easiest way to do this, to transcribe video audio that you can take and then convert into an actual blog post or social media post. This is my process. After the video is uploaded, I'll let Google do the transcription. Then I can come into subtitles right here. Okay. You come up here to we see where it says automatic captions in English. You click the little pencil icon and then it allows you to come in here where you can edit the actual transcription if you want. And this is where I make my corrections. Like for example, here it says, 50 caliber hand done. Well, <laughs> it's not a hand done. It is a hand gun. And so I just make that correction. So that way, once I finish and I save this, if anybody's watching the closed caption, it's gonna be a correct spelling. Um, so I'll usually just kind of scan through here. Uh, and any, anywhere I see the red underline, I'll take a look at. Yeah, and see this right here, I'm not even sure what that is. So I'm not, I'm not gonna try to change it, but I don't wanna copy this text anyways. This is just for example, so it's not gonna be a big deal. So here's what I do, right? I'll come down here and I'm gonna take this entire section. We're just gonna highlight it all and then I'm gonna copy it. Okay, then I'm gonna come over here to my Gemini, which I'm already signed in. And as you can see right here, I'm using Gemini Advanced. So come down here and I am going to ask Gemini to create me a blog post. So here's how I word it. Create me an SEO optimized. And I say SEO optimized because when you're creating the content, it'll give you keywords and everything that you can put into your post to help rank that post and it works. I've done it on my own blog and I'll show you and it, it works great. So an SEO optimized blog post with SEO optimized headings and include SEO 
optimized meta description and key phrases. So the key phrases will give you um, more than just a key word. It'll actually give you, um, you know, three, four, maybe even five words in a phrase that will be SEO optimized for the content that it's using, right? So create me an SEO optimized blog post with SEO optimized heading and include SEO optimized meta description and key phrases. And I'll say with the following quoted text. That way it knows exactly what to use. So then I will put the quotes and I will paste that. And so now we're good to go. Now, if your video is too long, you'll have to break it up into pieces. I don't know the exact character count. I think it's like 3000, maybe 5000, something like that. But at any rate, if you're too long, it'll say, oh, I can't process that much information. So you'll have to kind of shorten it down a little bit. But uh, that amount of content that I have there shouldn't be any problem at all. So now that I've done that, I'm going to click submit. And so Gemini is going to do its little AI thinking. Now, again, I found this new Gemini Advance to be extremely accurate. Uh, it's pretty quick. And I haven't missed chat GPT at all using this. So it works out great. I already use mid journey to create images, so I don't even worry about it. All right. So it is creating my blog post. Here's the title that it gave me battlefield domination, handgun heroes and ammo crate glitches. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's funny. Gives me a mated description here where I can use that in the post. And I'm going to actually sign into one of my blogs so you can see how I would actually use this information. Uh, so here's the key phrases. See, so like if I want to do an SEO key phrase, I might say, I might just use battlefield. Uh, I might want to do handgun tactics, <laughs> ammo glitch. <laughs> That's funny. Battlefield humor and squad gameplay. I could use any of that or all of that as a key phrase for my content. And if you're doing a blog and you're using WordPress, there's a section in there for key phrases that you can actually use that content for. Here's one thing I actually forgot. So I want keywords as well to put into the blog, right? So that way everything is SEO optimized. So because I forgot that, I don't have to like retype all of that. All I have to do is down here at the bottom is please let's do this. Also provide me with let's use 25 SEO optimized keywords. And I don't have to say with this content, with the previous post, but it already knows because we're actually in a conversation right here. So I don't have to like rephrase anything that I already put. I'm just asking it to do another step in what I've already given it. So we just hit enter and there you go. There's my 25 SEO optimized keywords. And you know, I might not have to say SEO optimized every time but I want to make sure that it knows I want optimized content for what I've given it. That way, when it gives me these keywords, it's using the information in the actual script that I already provided. So here I can just copy all of these and I can use these keywords in social media content as I'm creating the scripting in blog posts, whatever the case may be. So those are some good ones too. Battlefield bloopers. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to have to keep that. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. So I've told it, I want this content 
it's giving me the blog post. So we've got the key phrases. Um, I've got my keywords down here because I forgot to ask that in the first one. I could have included that. And so here we have the beginning of the post, right? So this is how it's saying I should like, this is the introduction. And then it's given me these headings here, these highlighted areas that are the headings for the actual post. And because I told it I wanted SEO optimized headings, it created these headings again, based on the content of the information I provided it. So most of the time I'll leave these the same. Uh, there are times where I'll go in and I'll kind of tweak it a little bit, just depending on what it is and, and how I want it to read. Um, but see, it, it really does a great job of just laying it all out. And then you come down here at the bottom and it gives you a nice little ending. It's awesome. I think it's great. Okay, so I signed into my Gadget Guys WordPress where I have my blog. And as you can see, this is the blog. And so here's the posts that I have. So I will be adding actually this video as a post once I'm done. So, but let's get to how I would do this. So we're going to come over here to posts and then we're going to click add new posts up here at the top. So here's where I start creating my content. Now I'm going to take the information from what Jim and I gave me and we're going to start filling out my blog post. So let's get the title here and I'm just going to paste the title in there. Now I usually put an image here and what I actually can do is, and I've done this and it's actually worked out pretty well, um, is I'll take this right here. Matter of fact, let's see what it gives me. Okay. So I came over here to Gemini and I asked it to write me a mid journey script to create an image with the following text. And then I put in the title of my blog post. So what it did was then created me a mid journey script. Now if you haven't ever used mid journey. Mid journey is another AI tool that will generate images. And again, I'm giving it the information that I want it to use to create. So it, it's not just like randomly doing things. I'm telling it what I want. So I'm, I'm using these AI tools with content that I've already created. Keep in mind, this started as a video. The video turns into a transcription. I take the transcription, I tell Gemini, write me a blog post with this information, and I give it that transcription. And this is how the whole process works. And as you can see, it's very quick, it's very easy, and it's pretty accurate. So let's see what it has here. So uh, it gives you art style, environment, lighting, gives some additional details you can use. Here's the main prompt. And it looks like it gives you a couple of complete prompts to see a dynamic scene of battlefield domination in the style of a gritty graphic novel, handgun heroes, forces obscured by shadow and smoke. And that looks good. So I'm going to take this here and then we're going to come back over to here to mid journey. These are some other images that I created for some other things I was doing. Um, as you can see, it does a great job. So, if you've never used Midjourney before, here's a little quick tutor tutorial. It is um, in Discord, so you have to join their Discord channel. And you simply will do the forward slash and then go here for image prompt. And then right here in this prompt, I'm simply going to paste what I was given by Gemini as the script. Now, the only thing that I add here is I want it to be in a widescreen so you'll do dash dash a r space seven colon four this basically tells mid journey i want a wide 16 by 9 size image and i just hit enter this will take just a minute it doesn't take that long obviously the more complicated script you have will probably take a little longer or if their servers are real busy but uh, it's usually pretty fast i do subscribe to the ten dollar a month plan because it gives you a lot more 
uh, images that you can create and it also gives you higher priority on the server so you can see it's generating these images pretty fast wow those are pretty cool all right so you can actually go into your images and view a little more detailed version of it in the actual account so as you can see right here um, this is actually pretty epic <laughs> so, I'm not gonna lie I like it so I like this one here, number four. And so over here on the right hand side, as you see, it does give you some options where you can reprocess the image. You can do some upscaling and there are times we'll all use that and you can actually pan. So like if I say I wanted you to pan left, it'll actually recreate the image, panning the image left and then generate the content of to match what's already there it's pretty amazing this 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 tool is phenomenal but i'm just going to use this just as it is because i'm just using this for example anyway so it's not a big deal so i'm gonna come up here i'm gonna click download all right so now that we got that we're gonna close out of gemini now let's go ahead and close that and we're gonna come back here to this block and i'm gonna say add image and i'm gonna say upload and let's find that image there it is right there now I would actually do a little more, you know, cleaning up. Like I would make sure the name looks right. But again, I'm not actually going to post this post. I just want to show you how I do my whole process. So we have the image. And again, I would actually add some alternate text in here. Again, part of the SEO process over here. You want to make sure that the image alternate text matches the SEO optimization of the entire post so now we have our title we have our image that goes along with the title because i use that title to tell mid journey to create me an image based off that so again that's pretty epic i, I really i really like that uh so let's go back over here and we're going to get so here's another cool thing too is the gemini um chat chat gpt they all do the same thing is they they keep your conversations so like i can go back over here and i can click on this conversation it named it battlefield shenanigans because that's <laughs> the, the uh title and it has all the information there so even though i close that tab out i didn't lose anything i just come back here and get it so let's get to the post so here it is right here all right so we've already got the title so let's take this right here and then we're going to come over here and come out in here into the meta description area. So, so I'm telling you WordPress already has this and I'm just gonna paste that in there. So again, I told it SEO optimized meta description. So this is what it gave me based on the content. So I'm gonna use that just as it is. And then let's go back and get this other um, keep raises let me show you where that's used at uh so let's see what do i want to use actually you know what i'm gonna go your keywords uh let's just use battlefield gameplay i like that okay so i'm gonna copy that on the right hand side over here in wordpress it gives you um well here's one other thing you can do and i always uh, forget again i'm not gonna post this but you can set a featured image so in my post it would show it on the website but that's not what I'm going to be doing. So I, I don't really want to deal with that. So right here where it says focus key phrases, right? So I'm going to hit this little pencil and then I'm going to take what I just copied and I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to say add, add focus key phrase. Now I'm not really worried again about all these red X's because right now the, the post isn't even built out yet. Once I complete the post, I'll make sure that the focus key phrase, that all of this is green check marks. So that way it's telling me that this is 100% SEO optimized for this content. And the tool I use that does this is called All-in-One SEO. It is a fantastic tool. It integrates right into WordPress. So if you have a blog or a website, I highly recommend it. Okay, so we got our key phrases. So let's go back over here and let's get our content. So right here's the post. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm just simply gonna copy all of this in one foul swoop, except for it says, let me know if you'd like any adjustments because that's not part of it. So we're gonna say copy, we'll come back over to our post, click in this next block and I'm gonna say paste. Here's the introduction. 
Here's my headings for each section and looks great. So that's really the process that I go through. So I've basically taken that video game gameplay that had some auto created captions by Google. I copied that text, put it into Gemini, told Gemini to create me an SEO optimized blog post with that information, which again, that information is really spoken words from me and my buddy while we were playing. So there's no like AI content here. It's just AI organized content that I've already created. You know, a lot of people, they're really against the whole AI process, but as you can see here, this makes it so much easier to where I don't have to like recreate all this written text. I already have it in audio format. I just take the transcription of that format and then I tell Gemini, or you can use chat GPT to format that in a blog post format that is SEO optimized. And that's how I've created all of my posts for quite some time now. And it's worked out great. And with these other tools that I use like all in one SEO, I make sure that the posts themselves are optimized. I'm going to go to one of my posts here and I'll show you what I'm talking about, but that's really the whole process. So like I would kind of, you know, clean this up a little bit. I would probably add a link here to my YouTube video and the channel and put some other links to some maybe affiliate links to my game controller I use or whatever the case may be. And then I would publish the post. It's fantastic. So let's get out of here. I'm just going to go dashboard. It's going to say, you know, you haven't saved. Yeah, I know. I don't want to save it. So let's go to this post right here. This is my most recent um, that talks about this USB-C dock that I am currently using. That's been great. And so this post was created using this exact same process that I just showed you. I recorded the video, the review of the doc, uploaded it to YouTube, got that video done, took the transcription of that audio, pasted it into Gemini, told Gemini, create me a blog post with this information, make sure it's all SEO optimized. Then I took that information and simply pasted it into here, created the image, and this is the post. And as you can see here, I added some links to like some battery backups that I use that have been really um, kind of a lifesaver. Here's the link to the dock. So, you know, that way you can go check the dock out. But if you look over here on this right hand side, you can see that I have like my key phrases, right? So my key phrase for this one is Anchor USB-C docking stations right so you look here anchor USB-C docking station and throughout my content you anchor USB-C docking station anchor USB -C. so I'm integrating these SEO keywords from the actual content of what I spoke and you can see here that it gives me all these green check marks to say okay uh, your key phrase density is good which means I'm not overusing the key phrase it's in all the right places. It's in my um, image alt attributes. Good stuff. I highly recommend it. Again, all in one SEO. If you have a blog, I highly recommend it. Now, if you look here where it says this got a red check mark because it's focus key phrase at the beginning of the SEO title. And what that means is they say it could actually be more effective if I put the anchor USB-C docking station in front of how to elevate your setup. But to me, that doesn't sound right. This sounds fine. And again, it's not, this is a recommendation. So it's not that big a deal. So let's come down here towards the bottom though. And you can see my meta description I used from the scripting that I got from Gemini. Uh, the post title, obviously, I just leave it set to this automatic post title section or option. And here again, key phrase shows that everything is 
page analysis, overall basic SEO. It gives me green check marks. Again, here's the title saying, oh, it doesn't appear at the beginning SEO title. That's fine. Uh, transition words. I don't worry too much about that. Um, I used to spend a lot of time going in and fixing that, but it never really translated into any better you know, clicks or views, so I didn't really worry about it. Um, and then this section here, up here at the top, okay, you have all these different options of, you know, how do you want it to view on your, your social media? So you can actually set how Facebook will display your content. Link assistant, and I don't use that. It can give you redirects if you want to do redirects. I don't use that. Don't really need anything. The the robot settings, that's for, you know, Google, Bing, all these bots that will, you know, scan your content. I don't change any of that. Their SEO revisions is just the all, SEO all-in-one telling me how many revisions I have throughout when I was, you know, creating the content. And so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Once I get done, then I'll publish it and away you go. It makes it so much easier and so much faster to get all that done like that. Um, one thing I want to show you too, that I almost forgot is in this section of WordPress, which is like kind of like the main SEO sidebar. Here's where I have all those keywords, right? So all those keywords that I got on that fake post, <laughs> this is where I would put them. So again, I have keywords, I have titles, I have focus key tags. I have all these things that are all SEO optimized for the main content. I link to my video and this right here is a pretty well optimized post. Up here it says I'm 72 out of 100. It gives you some other ideas like, you know, I could improve by using uncommon words or emotional words, but it doesn't fit with this content. So again, I'm not really worried about it. You wanna make sure your word count is good. I typically will do 10 or less. If I hit 11, 12 words, I'll shorten it because if you get too long of a title, it starts cutting it off in the search and it kind of looks bad. So as you can see, that whole process was really pretty quick. Um, right now, this video is 40 minutes long, but there's a lot of dead space and things that I'm gonna have to edit out as I've been doing this recording. In all reality, this whole start to finish process took me probably 15 or 20 minutes, super fast. There's no way you could handwrite your content or type it out manually, get it organized, get it optimized, get it posted in 20 minutes. Not gonna happen. To take all of your YouTube video content, turn it into text, you simply use the auto-generated captions. Make sure you correct any misspellings or grammatical errors. Then you use whatever AI tool you want, whether it be ChatGPT, Gemini. You could probably use Copilot too. I don't. I haven't used Copilot to do that, but it would probably work as well. Um, it uses ChatGPT on the back end because uh, it's Microsoft, but you know, whatever you want. Um, I personally have been using the Gemini Advance because again, it's available to me. You tell Gemini or ChatGPT that you want a blog post that's SEO optimized with your content. You're already taking your verbal content, turning it into text, and you're telling it this is what you want to use. So it's not creating the content, it's organizing it. Once you get that information, you get all your keywords, then you go into your WordPress, your Facebook post, wherever you're gonna put this, and then you just simply copy paste the information. 
create your image however you want to do it. If you want to create your own image using Adobe Express or Canva, because they're free options. Uh, maybe you have, um, maybe you're a wizard at Adobe Photoshop. Whatever you want to use, you create whatever image you want to go along with your post, and that'll help with you know whether it be a website, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media. They all do images. You go at it, you post it, done. Move on to the next one. Super easy, super fast. So look, if you found this content helpful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and don't forget to bell icon so that way you'll get notified of future content. And don't forget to go check out that video on that USB-C dock because if you have a laptop and multiple screens and you wanna be able to use all of that for your content creation, it gives you some great tools and tips.